hi welcome back to my channel well in this video i'll be showing or demonstrating the basic statistical analysis in ms excel which includes uh, summary statistics testing of hypothesis uh, like t-test or peer t-test correlation and functional relationship which includes regression and uh, also an important uh, algebraic procedure which is known as analysis of variance also i think this kind of analysis uh, forms the basic uh, data analysis which is involved in each and every research and uh, in order to perform this analysis uh, which is a very basic analysis and for that you don't need to go for any sophisticated software like uh, r sas these all these basic things can be done in ms excel for that we have a tool pack that is known as a data analysis tool pack which is kind of an add-in uh, in and this add-in we can perform the basic analysis of variance we can perform the correlation uh, we can also perform uh, regression also we can perform the variance ratio test that is uh, f test to test the homogeneity of various uh, variances uh, rather two variances we can perform the basic peer t test or two sample t test with equal or unequal variances or we can perform the z test also uh, which is the category of large sample test uh, so how to get this analysis data analysis tool pack since it is available in each and every uh, ms excel or office uh, you can say for that that is simply go to this file then click on this option then click on this add-in and here you have to find out where it is here it is the analysis tool pack then you have to click on this go option and uh, here in the, since it is already uh, activated on my disk uh, desktop uh, rather on my spreadsheet of excel so then finally we have to click on this okay then it will get uh, displayed or reflected here so uh, let us uh, begin uh, the first important summary statistics or to get the numerical summary or the structure of the data so for example we have uh, one two three and four variables how to get the summary statistics which includes the majors of center tendency dispersion and uh, some positional average also including uh, some uh, basic uh, peakedness or we can say the index of uh, skewness uh, or which in which shows the symmetry or asymmetry in your data how to get this well simply go on this data analysis then we have to see where is the date descriptive statistics option then we will click on this descriptive statistics then we'll click on this okay then we have to enter the input range i will click here then we will highlight all these or drag all these wherever the data wherever that your data is then click on this then since we want this analysis uh, in the form of since the data is uh, grouped by means of columns we have to click on this columns then uh, label first row since all these variables are labeled then why you want to put your output and we have to click here then we will suppose want our output results here in this cell then uh, we want to get the summary statistics like some confidence level of mean also with 95 percent uh kth largest and the smallest also then we will click on this uh okay uh so we have a descriptive statistics which includes the majors of central tendency majors of dispersion like mean standard error median mode standard deviation sample a variance cortosis skewness range extreme points minimum maximum sum count largest smallest and confidence level also so within one click all this basic information or numerical summary gets displayed so this is a very important uh, feature in this ms excel now if we are interested to test uh, different uh, things rather two or uh, less than two because uh, this involves one sample or two sample uh, t test for that for example we have two varieties of potato plant a and b which yield some tubes and in the following table a and b uh, and the question here is does the mean number of uh, potatoes rather this is not tomato a and b so we have two groups and we have to find out whether these two groups are significantly different from each other for that we'll be using a t-test and here we will go to this very quickly to data analysis and uh, suppose we'll go to two sample t-test assuming there's a homogeneity of variances and click on this ok then use click on this first uh, variable range input range suppose group a along with the label 
then click on this second one and then very quickly uh, we'll assume that there is no that, that uh, there's no difference among these two groups then we will click on the labels then we will click on this output where we want our output say for example here then we'll click here and then okay so we have the results here and you can see we have mean we have variance we have plural variance uh, we have also the t-test uh, tabulated value or a calculated value rather since it's not minus 3 this is always in the modulus form and here you can see the p-values are in, in, in key both cases one, uh, one tail as well as in two tail they are less than 0 0.05 and you can also see this uh, critical value is less than your calculated value so we will reject the hypothesis that there is no significant difference yes there's a every reason to believe that there exists a significant difference between these two groups now sometimes we have correlated observations or the observations are in the form of peers like we have to do before and after study uh, like we have an average number of seeds per pot were determined from top and bottom flowers here the subject of the plant is same but the observations are taken on the top and bottom and we have to find out whether there is a significant difference between top and bottom flowers so this is a clear case of PRT test simply we'll click on this data analysis then go to this PRT test like we did in this first two sample T tests here we will click on this first input range the same step which we followed in two sample T tests then again a kind of a null hypothesis then labels then where we want our output simply say for example here we'll click on this ok so again we have the results for peer t test also so you can see here the calculated uh, value is 0 0.1 and the critical or the tabulated value is this since the thumb rule is if the calculated value is less than your tabulated value or critical value you have uh, you don't have evidence to reject a certain kind of hypothesis here you have to assume there is no significant difference between top and bottom so similarly if we want to perform the correlation or regression suppose we want to perform the correlation among all these four variables we'll simply go to the data analysis and find out what our correlation is so click on this correlation then ok then uh, we'll fix the input range like we did in rest of the analysis then since these are grouped by columns then uh, the lay these all columns are labeled then click on this so let us suppose we want our correlation results in the form of matrix here so we have a matrix of correlation say for example the correlation between yield and air is 0 0.85 it's a good amount of correlation although the significant correlation or non-significant correlation you cannot decide here simply there's a value of correlation and obviously none of the variables is greater than plus or uh, or uh, it is within the limits of minus one to plus one since the coefficient is always within this range very quickly if we want to perform the regression we will go to uh, click on this uh, regression then ok say for example lead is our response variable we will put it as input y here then we will click on this again then on x's or explanatory variables are our predictors air, air length and weight we will assume them as explanatory variables then we will click on this then label the first row then confidence level or you want to have an intercept or not then uh, output range like we did in the previous one let us suppose we want our we want the residuals also that is very important then we'll click on this okay so we have the results for regression also uh, multiple r square multiple correlation coefficient r square a good amount of uh, uh, value or we can say it's almost 74 percent all these three variables are explaining 74 percent of variation in yield and we have analysis of variance table and the estimates where we can decide how much change is happening in our response with respect to a particular variable and we have residuals also very quickly we'll go to the ANOVA for example we have one two three four five six and seven different objects of comparison or seven different uh, we can say um, treatments and assuming this is a one-way ANOVA case or we can simply in agricultural experiments or exploratory we say it's a kind of a, a completely randomized design uh, type of an experiment we'll simply go to data analysis 
then simply click on this ANOVA one single factor then click on this then we will highlight all these things since the labels they are grouped by columns then we will click on this and the same steps we have to follow then we will be having a certain kind of ANOVA table so you can see we have ANOVA we have the source of variation between the groups since we had seven treatments so the degrees of freedom is six so here you can see the f value is uh, the p value is less than 0 0.05 since the calculated value of f is greater than its table rated so these all three or we can say the seven treatments are significantly different from each other and finally we have two-way ANOVA for example we have six varieties and we want to see whether it is a significant difference between all these uh, six varieties uh, this is a case of two-way ANOVA then we will go for this without replication then okay then the similar steps we have to follow like we have to drag it and click on this then click on the label then output range then we want our output range here then we will click on this okay so we have the results for since we had six treatments or six varieties the degrees of freedom is uh, six minus one that is five so here we can see this f is less than this uh, critical value so all these five different things or six different things rather they are not significantly different and which is also uh, 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 visible or we can say we can decide on the basis of p value also since the p value is greater than 0 0.05 so all these things or all these six varieties they are not significantly different so by this means we can simply perform the basic statistical analysis which is uh, which can be done or which can be analyzed by using this uh, very useful uh, data analysis package uh, uh, where you don't need to write any kind of codes because this is a very simple uh, statistical procedures which involve summary statistics test of significance correlation regression and the basic analysis of variance hope uh, this video uh, will be uh, will might help to some of the beginners or especially the students who want to perform their analysis or this kind of analysis on their own uh, so if you have any comments or suggestions so please comment on the comment section uh, hope you like this video thank you very much